Um, Dr. Carson, I don't mean to leave you out here. I am, again, so excited to have you. You're, um, of course, many of people here already know who you are, but for those who don't, um, you are a famous neurosurgeon who has uh, been the only person to successfully separate c twins conjoined at the head. You, I know, isn't that awesome? And he, he is so chill, which is what you want in your neurosurgeon, I guess. I mean, he's unflappable. Um, you are up on, of course, the medical science of all of this. And you have literally seen and held a human brain. Tell me, when does life begin? Well, you know, that's a very good question because with all the technology and all the knowledge that we have acquired as human beings, we still don't have the ability to create life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't have the ability to create a human being. Mm -hmm. But God has orchestrated an incredible situation where the egg and the sperm come together. And within a matter of 10 to 12 weeks, you can see the little fingers and the little toes and the little nose and the face. The heart is starting to beat. It's absolutely amazing. And then it goes on to develop very rapidly from there. The brain, hundreds of thousands mm. of neurons every single day develops very rapidly. And I've had the privilege of being able to operate on little babies that were 25, 26, 27, 28 weeks gestation. Mm. And uh, I can guarantee you they can feel, mm -hmm. they can react. And uh, you have to give them anesthesia if you're gonna cut them, believe me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they can also respond to comfort mm -hmm. and to warmth. Mm -hmm. And for somebody to say that that's a meaningless bunch of cells, honestly, is just totally ignorant. And uh, you know, I've had the... <laughs> I've, I've even had the privilege of operating on babies in the mother's womb uh, who have grown up to be intelligent, self-sustaining, uh, beautiful people. So what really gets me, and probably most people here have never actually seen an abortion, but you know, in the early stages, you have the uterus on the ultrasound, and you can see the baby. You can see the head and the thorax and the arms and the legs. And then they introduce a tube near the feet and turn on the grinding, sucking machine. And next thing you see is all the blood going through the little tube and the thing disappears. I mean, it's barbaric. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes on to a much later stage, late stage uh, abortion, you have a baby who could live outside of the womb. Mm -hmm. but. Some people feel that it's okay to murder that baby. And the level of barbarism that that requires, I quite frankly don't know how people can do it, quite frankly. And uh, they try to shield the mothers from the knowledge of what's going on. They try not to let them see the screens and all the various things. But how many of those mothers end up psychologically damaged. They talk about they're doing this for the health of the mother. What about the mother's mental health mm -hmm. that she has to endure for the rest of her life? You know, um, I, many of you all know about Silent No More, which is a great organization that gives women the ability to share their regret. And as a, a believer, I believe in redemption. And I believe we are so broken as human beings. And regardless of what you've done and where you've been, you can always bring it to the cross and the feet of Jesus. And there's always a second chance in redemption. And nobody has to live with that regret. Nobody. Um, you know, 